Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear okay. me well? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. How are you doing today? I'm doing really great. What about you? How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking. Uh, my awesome. name is Ethan. What's your name? It's nice to meet you, Ethan. I'm Richard and I'm from Brazil. Okay, awesome. Nice to meet you, Richard. Uh, which part of Brazil are you from? I'm from Sao Paulo, the state of Sao Paulo. And okay. my city is called Guarujá. Guarujá. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, That's awesome. Okay. Um, and so, uh, have you always lived in the city, Richard? Yes, I have always lived here. You know, I was born and raised here. <laughs> okay, and, awesome. Yeah, and I like here, actually. It's a great place to, to live in. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, I, I am from Canada. I live in a city called Niagara Falls. Uh, have Niagara you ever heard Falls. of Niagara Falls before? Yes, I have. It's so popular, isn't it? It is. It, it's, a, it's a very um, interesting city, I think, because it's not a very big city. The population is very small, but it's very famous because of the waterfall that's here. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of like Falls do Guaçu in, in Brazil. Yeah. Ni Niagara Falls is kind of like uh, one of the most famous waterfalls in, in North America. So it's uh, and, and in most of the world as well. So it's a place that a lot of tourists come to. Uh, and it's a place that a lot of people know about from movies or TV shows or cartoons, yeah. that kind of thing. So it's an interesting place. Yeah, there are so many movies in Niagara Falls. They show their, uh, that place and it's so beautiful. I'd love to go there one day. Yeah, but, you, you should. If you ever get the chance, it is very beautiful. Yeah. And are you currently in Canada? I am. I am. Yeah. I, I was working in Japan for two years and then I was awesome. traveling for a little bit and then I was working this year in South Korea. Um, but I just moved back to Canada uh, at the beginning of September. Uh, so I've been back home now for about three months. Mm, I see. Great. And how was, you know, living, what was living in Japan like? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, I loved living there. It's such an interesting country and it's so different from Canada. So I got to experience a lot of really new and interesting things. I got to meet tons of new people and try new foods and go to a lot of beautiful places and nice cities. So I'm, I'm really, really glad that I got that opportunity. And uh, if I ever get to go back to Japan in the future, I would love to go back. Oh, great. Awesome. I, I like animes. And <laughs> I see. Okay. Yeah. Anime is huge in Japan. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, Everyone it loves anime there. <laughs> and, you know, I, have, I haven't ever been outside of Brazil. Okay. And, you know, Japan is one of, uh, one of the places that I'd love to go one day. And oh, I see. That's awesome. It's so and it's so interesting you've been there uh, and you lived there for, for a while. And yeah. great. Uh, did you get a chance to, to learn Japanese? I did. I did. Um, I still wouldn't say that my Japanese level is totally fluent, um, but I improved a lot over the two years that I was living there getting to practice uh, with uh, many, many different people and uh, basically being forced to, to kind of improve or else I'm not able to communicate, that, that kind of helped a lot. Um, I lived in a smaller city uh, that was more countryside. So the amount of English was very, very small in, in my city. So uh, because of that, I, I had to learn Japanese in order to go to the grocery store or the re a restaurant, to, to the gym, anything like that. Um, and so uh, I'm really glad, actually, that I was kind of challenged in this way because it helped me to improve. Oh, great. And I think you are so brave because you lived in a totally different country. And yeah, yeah it's, and I think it was... Uh, a huge culture shock, right? For sure, for sure. I mean, yeah. there's there's a lot of aspects of Japanese culture that are very different from what I'm used to. And uh, lots of like kind of unsaid rules or, or expectations, that kind of thing of how to behave in public and how to behave at work or how to interact with each other, that kind of thing um, that I, I got used to and that I, that I adjusted to. Uh, but at the beginning, it, it, it maybe took a little while to kind of um, understand all of these things, know what to expect, know what to kind of be aware of. And uh, it, so it was a big adjustment. Yeah, we as human beings, we are nothing, uh, we are 
what is the word I'm looking for? We are adaptable, right? Of course, <laughs> of course. I agree. I yeah. agree. Um, and if not, right, then then it limits your ability to experience a lot of things. Um, mm -hmm. And and I, I I think to be able to move to another country like that, that's totally different. You really do have to be adaptable. I, I know certain people that I met while I was there that were other foreigners. They... Uh, a lot of them were great at adapting as well. Some of them, they, there were certain things that they're like, no, I don't want to change the way I do this, or I don't understand why they do this, and I, I don't want to kind of change that about myself. And so if you have that kind of attitude, I mean, it, it doesn't make things impossible, but it does make it a lot more difficult, and it makes it harder yeah, to it enjoy does, the definitely. experience as well. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm so open-minded when I go to a new place. That's great. You know, I, I'd like to to experience the the culture, you of know, course. and especially because we need to respect their country. Of course, we're of not course. in our country, so we need to exactly to really understand and follow their rules, right? Exactly. <laughs> and once I was reading the news, and it said that Japanese people they usually don't walk you know, around the city eating something yeah that's one of those one of those because, yeah, yeah. talking about yeah because it, it's so disrespectful because they can you know there is someone <laughs> exactly yeah there, there's a lot of those kinds of uh small rules it's not necessarily that if you do that you get in trouble uh it's just people will look at you in, in a strange way because they're not used to seeing this right so there's there's a few like that that yeah, walking and eating is a big uh taboo kind of thing to do it in japan um uh, sneezing in public or blowing your nose in public if you have to sneeze is another one of those things that if you do that in public, people will, will give you dirty looks. Um, there, there's, there's many of these kinds of things. Uh, talking on the phone when you're in public or if you're on like a train or a bus, anything like that, that's another big one. They, they like to keep everything very quiet in public transportation. Um, <laughs> and so, so there's, there's lots of things like this that uh, here in Canada, it's not a big deal at all. People do these things all the time. No one thinks twice about it. But there, <laughs> uh, it's kind of those unwritten rules that you kind of just don't do or you, you avoid as much as you can. Yeah, you know, and talking about public transportation, once I was watching a YouTube video, uh, it was about uh, a guy who went to Japan once, okay. and he said he was, you know, using his laptop, yeah. but he forgot it you okay. know, <laughs> on his train, and he was so desperate, you know, because he was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna, someone is gonna steal my, my laptop. Yeah. And he asked the person, and the person was so calm, you know, the Japanese person was so calm. Yep. Oh, and, oh my gosh, I, I lost my laptop. And, and the person said, oh, calm down. The train will come back. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, okay, but someone will steal me. No, it's yours. Yeah. No one will steal you. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't it's happen. So yeah, insane, it doesn't right? happen it's, in Japan. It's, it's yeah. crazy. You can, you can do something like that can happen. And you, you don't have to worry about anyone taking your things. They will return it. They'll even write a note for you to, to put, put on the, the item and, and give it to the security or to the people working at the train station to make sure it gets back to you. Um, yeah, people will go out of their way to make sure that things get returned to people. Uh, and and that, that's another thing that I think is really awesome about Japan is that people, they, they care for each other in this way. They, they don't want anyone to be uh, disrespected or have anything bad happen to them, that kind of thing. So they, they want to make sure that these types of things especially get taken care of. Um, for me, I, I one time I left my, my iPhone on the train and uh, really? I, I was again really worried that I would never see it again, that kind of thing, because <laughs> trains are so busy, there's so many people and it's easy for mm -hmm. it to get mixed up or lost. And uh, I, I found I got it right away back the next day. I went to the train station and they, they had turned it into security there and they had a note on it. They wanted to make sure it was mine. But then once I could <laughs> prove it was mine, then they gave it back to me. And uh, yeah, that kind of thing happens all the time. Uh, they, yeah. they, the lost and found at train stations and bus stations are huge. There's 
thousands and thousands of computers and laptops and uh, and phones and and everything that that gets left on trains and buses and uh, people always turn it in. Uh, they they will always give it to the to the train station or the bus station. So it's yeah, it's very interesting. No, the lost and found department really works there. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It does. It does. Honestly, even if let's say you you lost your wallet or something like that with all of your money in it, they would return it and it would have everything in it. You wouldn't have to worry about them taking the money or anything like that. Everything would be there um, because yeah, people they they don't even have this kind of idea of stealing uh, as much. Uh, I shouldn't say that it never happens because uh, there is some theft that happens a little bit in Japan. Uh, my, for example, my bike was stolen in Japan, um, oh, it, but that was that was, it was? yeah that was uh, an, an unfortunate experience. It was near the end of the time that I was there, and uh, I, I biked to work one day, uh, and I I was working I inside the building, and then at the end of the day, I came out. It was raining, and my bike was gone. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think maybe someone. Um, didn't want to walk in the rain and so they took the bike and then uh yeah but anyways it doesn't happen often uh usually like people won't even lock their bikes or anything like that i didn't lock my bike and uh uh but but uh that's that's kind of the only thing that does get stolen uh a little bit often is bikes and usually it's by like teenagers that kind of thing it's it, it's not mm. something that uh is like a big problem or anything it's just like one of the few things that people do steal in japan oh, oh i see yeah. you know and that's why i i love talking about uh you know people who lived in a country because you have the real perspective because yeah. All I know uh, is about, you know, things that I watch on the television. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course, of course. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. good to get different perspectives sometimes, right? Because yeah. sometimes uh, you only get a certain kind of view of, of things uh, from one person's perspective, maybe on YouTube or on TV or something like that. Um, but everyone has different experiences, right? I'm sure there are some people maybe that didn't have as good of an experience in Japan as I did. Are there some people that had better experiences? Um, uh, for example, when I was living in Korea, because uh, I, I worked in Korea as well, uh, I, I didn't okay. I didn't have as good of an experience there. Um, but uh, that that kind of just gave me more perspective about what kinds of places I like, what kinds of places I don't like as much, and uh, where I would go back to in the future, where I would not go back to in the future, that kind of thing. I see. Uh, you've, uh, uh, have you ever been to Tokyo? Yes, yeah. Tokyo is one of my favorite cities. Tokyo is such a, an interesting city. Uh, there's so much to see there and so much to do and so many different neighborhoods and different kinds of parts of the city that are very different from each other. So I, I love oh, okay. Tokyo. Uh, that's one of my favorite cities in the world. Does it does it look like New York or do you think it's different? Have you ever been to I've New York? I've been to New York a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, I've been to New York a couple of times. I think it's it's very different from New York. I, I mean there's it's busy, like there's a lot of people like like there are in New York. Um, but and certain parts of New York remind me a little bit of Tokyo, like in Times Square where there's all the screens and there's lots of people, lots of lights, that kind of thing. It reminds me of parts of Tokyo, but most of New York is a little bit different from most of Tokyo. Um, the, the architecture in Tokyo is different style, the, the kinds of restaurants, the kinds of bars, different style. Uh, the, the festivals that happen and, and the, um, the, uh, the transportation system is much, much better in Tokyo. The trains are awesome, mm. the subways are awesome. And uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I prefer Tokyo, but I do love New York. New York's a great city, but uh, nothing will compare to Tokyo for me. <laughs> great. Uh, you know, once I I saw a picture uh, from Tokyo. It was it, it was not Tokyo. It was a place in Japan. Okay. I think in the in the fall there, it's like the trees uh, get. Very know, colorful. It get, the, the leaf change. Yeah, very yeah, colorful. Exactly. Yeah. They get you know uh, pink. Yeah. And it's so okay. Beautiful. Ah, the cherry and blossoms. I, it was a path. It was a path. You know, there were a lot of trees, yeah. and it was so beautiful. I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you're thinking of it was like a cartoon. Yeah, the cherry <laughs> blossom trees in the springtime. 
very, very gorgeous. It only lasts a short time. It's maybe for one week, maybe a week and a half, but it's, it's one of the most beautiful times of the year. I always loved uh, the cherry blossom season uh, when these pink flowers bloom. And uh, there's a lot of festivals around that time as well. People uh, really, really enjoy this time of year. It's beautiful weather usually uh, around this time of year. Nice and sunny, but not too hot yet. And yeah, I love springtime in Japan. Oh, great. And, uh, you know, I, I'm so curious about that because I'm not uh, a huge fan of Japanese okay. food. If I went there, uh, would I have... Uh, a lot of options. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I think when most people think of Japanese food, they think of like sushi and seafood and that kind of thing. And if they're not a big fan of that, they think, oh, I don't really like Japanese food as much. But in reality, Japan has all kinds of food. Uh, there's there's a lot of different Japanese foods out there that are, there's something for everyone, right? There's a lot of foods that have different kinds of noodles or different rices or meats, vegetables. Um, they, they have uh, a lot of fried foods as well. They have a lot of food yeah. that are... Um, that are healthy or foods that are, are, are more just like delicious. Like there's, there's tons of options. Okay. So for me too, I, oh. I'm not a big fan of like fish or raw fish as much, but I, there was a lot of different places I can go to eat in Japan. Um, one of my favorites is called Yakiniku. It's like a barbecue place. So uh, in the restaurant, oh, really? every table has a small barbecue in the center of the table. And they just really? bring you as much meat as you want, steaks and different <laughs> kinds of meat, chicken and everything, pork. And you, you cook it yourself at the table on the barbecue. And it's you really? eat as much oh, as you yeah, want. It's, it's awesome. I love, I love steak. Yeah, so I different. love steak. So it's, it's, uh, it, it was really good. They bring you different sauces and that kind of thing, side dishes. Um, but that was one of my favorite places to go. Uh, and uh, yeah, there, another place, there's something called yakitori. And yakitori is like skewers, like wooden sticks um, that they grill different kinds of like chicken or vegetables, cheese, uh, that kind of thing. And uh, they batter it as well. There's like a, a breading awesome. on it. And that you dip in some sauce as well. It's, it's very good. So there's, there's a, Ooh, a lot awesome. of good Japanese foods, but also in bigger cities, they have international foods as well. There's Brazilian restaurants or there's Mexican restaurants, Italian restaurants, American restaurants. So if, you, if even you don't like all of those things, you still have the opportunity to eat some international foods uh, if you're in a bigger city. Smaller cities, not as much, but bigger cities, definitely. Uh, and what about uh, a restaurant that, for example, we sit around a yep. table and a, and a, a cook, you know, cooks the, yeah, the yeah. food in yes. front of us? It, it's so nice. Have you ever been in a restaurant yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about, like the barbecue place. You, you cook the food yourself. Uh, um, it's basically, it's like a round kind of barbecue that's, that's yeah. in the middle of the table. Um, and you cook the food yourself everyone kind of can take turns cooking um and it's 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 really interesting i had never been to a restaurant like that before going to japan um but now i love it, it in korea actually this is kind of very common as well um it's something that uh yeah that that a lot of people enjoy a lot of people like to do i'll see if maybe i can share a like a picture with you or something like that um so you can see exactly what i mean by this uh let me just look on Google here. So this, this picture is kind of like uh, what the barbecue might look like. It's just like, can you see it okay? Yeah, it's just yeah, like a round can. kind of barbecue in the middle of the table. And they bring you lots of plates with different meats. Uh, you could get like uh, oh, like so a steak nice. or you, if you want, you could get seafood, that kind of thing. And you just cook it basically right on the barbecue there and eat as much as you want. Awesome. Yeah, you eat as much as you want. So <laughs> uh, at different restaurants, they might have one or two uh, barbecues at a table and many 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 different options for foods that you can cook on it oh great i love all you can eat yeah restaurant. me too me too <laughs> yeah sometimes we go to a restaurant where we have to we we it's so expensive and we don't get satisfied yeah, i don't yeah, like I that i like to go to a place to really yes well. <laughs> exactly i know exactly what you mean i i like this this as well um and actually today i went to a restaurant like that for lunch uh here in canada so um yeah i, I that that there's a lot of restaurants like that in japan and uh 
it's it's great how many options you have um, because yeah you you never get bored uh, with the foods. It's not like you're eating the same thing every day. If you want to change it up, there's opportunities to change it up. Uh, when I was living there, I usually would cook uh, for myself and for my girlfriend, um, but. Uh, uh, once in a while, we would go out. Maybe once a week or once every two weeks, we would go out to a restaurant and, and uh, enjoy some nice food as well. Um, now, I, I'm very sorry, Richard. I have a reservation that's calling in that, that made a, an appointment for this time. Um, but I, I really I enjoyed talking to you, though, and I, I hope we can speak again another time. Maybe continue our conversation. Me too. Yeah. Definitely. No problem. Thanks so Richard. much. Have for a these. good rest of your day. Take care. Take care. <laughs> bye bye. You too. Take care. Bye bye.